Okay, let's begin the second talk, which will be mine, um, to, to keep on track uh, with the time. Okay, nice to meet you. I'm Nicolas Roland. I'm from France. I work at IFSTA, it's a French research institute uh, on transportation, uh, spatial planning, and networks. And uh, I'm wondering, are we going back to command line JS? So, like I said, I work at ISTA, I use JS engineers. I'm also an OSIO charter member, OSIO live uh, product steering committee. Okay, that's not cool. Yeah, good. And I'm also part of the uh, French chapter, local chapter board. So that's about me. And one day uh, I was on Twitter and I found that tweet. Uh, G. Lee Long was. Um, so you think, oh. okay, it's, I need to wait a little bit. Okay, yeah. it's not online. It's currently uh, on the computer, but uh, okay. Takes some time to run those. You should be accustomed to it. Okay, I, I met this, uh, this tweet and this guy was saying, oh, command line JS gives me back flashback to learning Arc Info. In the 80s, okay, in the 80s, I was in the kindergarten, so it doesn't give me flashback, but it uh, drives me, yeah, what is the thinking? And there was this person uh, responding to, to him, and we saying, oh, my colleagues came from command lines, now they are all using UIs, and they don't want to go back to command lines. They were to click and uh, click on buttons, so it seems there are cycles, and that's when my uh, mind was oh cycles, and I go, but it uh, leveled a lot. It, re it raised a lot of questions in my mind, which are what is command like this? So what are they talking about? What was that uh, at the time? I don't know Arc Info, so I have to so dig up a little bit. Uh, what is command line today? And are we going to die? I should have removed that. I forgot. So what is command line? So you type code. Uh, this is just R, but uh, you can make Python or anything, and you get something in the result. You can use bash, you can use... Um, PowerShell, if you are on Windows, uh, and this is command line. Uh, there is all kind of sort of command line. For, for me, a script is command line. It's just command line you store in a file. Uh, even API is, is command, uh, command line. So, and, but what was command line back in the day? So, if we would like to be working, maybe not. Yeah. Downloading. Yeah, okay. Let's keep it. Um, you, you saw some picture from Marcus, and Marcus knows better, I, be, I believe, the grass uh, command line than me, but it was uh, the 80s. So uh, it was like in the movies we saw again with um, black and green screens and line displaying like that. So it was not very uh, attractive, but it doesn't change that much. So we still use command line. We still use command line, the Python stack. Python stack is quite huge. We have Python by itself, but you have the old geospatial libraries upon. You have packages. You, have, you can uh, create processing in QGIS. Uh, the PyWAPS, PyWCS, every Py everything almost is command line. The air stack, I'm more used to the air stack actually, so you can do command line, um, you can do R script, but you can also use a console to, to get um, processing done. Speaking of processing, you have processing scripts from the major um, Software in or 
community. You can have processing script in Grass. You can have processing script in uh, Saga or with uh, OTB. So uh, you can also do command line, kinda, uh, with pauses and, pause and SQL commands. Now the movie is as download. Let's go if I can show you that. I don't know. which stores, analyzes, and displays different types of mapped information. GRASS supports installation managers in carrying out their mission with higher elevation, streams, or to any combination of layers. To relate maps of different scales on paper can be difficult and present on a new model Fort Hood. One weapon for years. The Army has searched for tools and methodologies. Additional layers can also be added later. Remember, you may not have to collect and enter as many layers as you first think, because some can be created or derived from others. For example, slope and aspect layers can be derived automatically from elevation data. On the other hand, the more specific the questions you want to ask, the more detailed the map layers must be, and usually the higher the cost to collect and enter the necessary data. Besides the data you already have at your installation, other types are available. Remote sensing can include traditional techniques such as aerial photography, as well as the use of data collected by sensors in satellites or aircraft. Aerial photography usually has to be interpreted and then transferred into the installation base map before it can be entered into grass. Data collected by satellite, on the other hand, comes in computer-ready form on digital tapes. The new Landsat thematic mapper data have resolution down to 30 meters on an edge, suitable for many installation applications. Though it must be scanned to get into computer form, high altitude false color images are inexpensive and will even resolve individual trees and cars. Topographic data for your installation can also be acquired in computer-ready digital form. Data which are not already in digital form need to be digitized. The GRASS software also includes utilities to construct this kind of computer data. Of course, your system is more than just software and data. It also includes the third component, the computer equipment or hardware. GRASS has been established on the MassComp and Sun mini computers. It is possible to run it on any computer which uses the Unix operating system. We have to repeat. We, uh, the Unix operating environment science, ensures uh, that GRASS code can be ported to new computers, such as the AT&T 3B2 or other microcomputers. Besides the computer itself, a monitor and color display terminal, a printer and plotter are usually necessary. Hardware costs are currently in the range of $50,000 for the entire configuration. In time, this will so drop as computer useful. costs go down and as grass is ported from the mini uh, to the micro computer level. The fourth and very important so component is the operating staff. Do you and your staff have to be computer like specialists? Grass? No. Grass is very user friendly and interactive. A professional with minimal previous computer exposure will be able to obtain useful grass analyses after some initial training. However, maintenance requires a trained technical assistant on your staff, knowledgeable in regular computer system support, and largely dedicated to grass support. Grass can help you whenever you need to access information on your installation quickly, to determine aerial planimetric amounts, to combine, overlay, or analyze the information to answer specific questions, to compare alternatives, or to predict the effects of certain events. If you're not satisfied with hand-drawn, out-of-date maps, using GRASS can help improve your effectiveness as an installation manager and make better use of limited manpower and smaller budgets. GRASS can help you take better care of the resources for which you are responsible.
they are getting so much UX that they are losing all the important stuff and people that are doing stuff that is accurate and that they want to fit and cross some algorithms are used to go to dig into it and then just to use it. And the open source community is one of the greatest uh, and best uh, examples because you mix just one million of different tools. So yeah, just that comment. This is, I think, the, the main problem why GUI is dying in means of uh, the production workflows. Yeah, th thanks for, for adding that comment. Yeah, please, if you have comment to do, uh, don't, uh, don't hesitate. Yeah, uh, too much GUI kills the GUI. So um, first time I, I'm uh, late, JS guy. I, I start JS maybe four years ago. And first time I, I open uh, QJS, I say, oh, that's a lot of buttons. So if you don't get education or on the tool, it might be frightening. Uh, I still want to use grass one day, one day and understand it fully. Uh, I'm not. Uh, I am easily frightened by the GUIs. I'm afraid of that. So yeah, it's a nice command. Thank you for that. So maybe command line for people who are not afraid of it will me might be a good uh, approach. Yeah. Any more comments on this uh, subject? Thank you. Thank you again. Uh, there will be a talk in...